Time News Update. Brought to you by National Mutual. Good evening. Unions and management at Gunnedown's Vickery coal mine have agreed on the terms of a return to work. But the three-month dispute isn't over yet. Workers are still to approve the terms before they'll head back to the mine. The terms will be considered by workers at the mine on Monday. If acceptable, then a return to work will be negotiated. Good news for irrigators in the northwest. They'll soon be receiving their first allocation of water in three years. Levels in Split Rock and Copeton dams have risen since the rain. Dairy farmers in the Upper Namoy and Manila areas have been given a third of their entitlement, with cotton farmers next in line. And more East schools are leading the way in educational technology. Fifteen schools have been selected to test the internet system. We'll have more news later. News update brought to you by National Mutual. Good evening. More job losses are expected across the north with news that North Power Electricity will have its regional offices on the coast and not inland. When electricity distributors were amalgamated, offices were also proposed for Tamworth and Inverell. That idea has been abandoned. Tamworth MP Tony Windsor says the inland has been conned and will be hit with higher electricity prices. Armadale's University of New England has notched up a first in Australia. The UNE has unveiled its state-of-the-art electron microscope worth more than $300,000. It's capable of magnifying up to 1,500 times. And the famous Ashton Circus family took time out from performing to renew links with the Hanging Rock area. Family members made the trip to visit the resting place of the original Mrs Ashton. That's all from the Prime News team. Good night.